but boxing is a great sport to me. It, it teaches a lot. Values are very important. And I was raised with some great fighters, Marciano, yeah. Rocky Marciano. And I'll never forget there was one time <clears throat> Rocky was, he quit undefeated, heavyweight champ of the world. And Rocky was about 40, almost going to be 47. And Muhammad Ali was 27 at the time. And he was still, I believe, Cassius Clay, mm -hmm. becoming Muhammad Ali, changing his name. And they had this computer thing that came out where it was fighters. They had John L. Sullivan and Joe Lewis, Jim Corbett, some of the greatest fighters who ever fought. And they would take how he would throw a left, a right cross, and who would be the all-time great. At the end, it showed Muhammad Ali beating Joe Lewis and Rocky Marciano beating John L. Sullivan. So this was a big deal. And they did a computer. It was only supposed to throw punches, not to get into a real fight. Okay. You throw a left, a right, how you would take a punch. So it started off, and Muhammad Ali started hitting Rocky hard. Come on, because he had an 81 inch wrist, uh, reach, and Rocky only had a 56. So Rocky had to get close to you to hit you, because his arms were so short. Rocky was 5'10", Muhammad Ali was almost 6'5". So it was difficult. But at one point around the eighth round, he hit Rocky real hard. And he, he knocked Rocky down. Rocky got right up the count of two. It was becoming now yeah. serious. <laughs> and after that, I have to say, Rocky annihilated Ali at his age, an old man. Wow. And here's the greatest fighter in the world. Muhammad Ali, but the record speaks for itself. Rocky Marciano never lost. Muhammad Ali lost a few. Okay. And here's, here he is fighting a man, 47, he's 27. So Rocky got up and knocked him out. Rocky, that time, turned out to be Rocky, the- Rocky, that was based on the movie Rocky, right? Rocky Marciano? Yes, okay. also. He spent quite a bit of time with Rocky Marciano. Oh, yes, yes. He taught you a lot about winning. Winning. Fighting to win. Well, that's why we're here. We're here with a winning group. I wouldn't have came if they were in a winning group. Yes. The Dosh group are winners. So with that, he, uh, Rocky beat him, and then they went back to the dressing room. Never forget this. And Muhammad Ali called Rocky, hey, champ, what could we do together? And Rocky looked at him, and they sat on the floor. I sat in the back of Rocky, just in case he got too wild. Marciano was in front, just in case he wanted to hit me. And he asked him, he says, what can we do to make the world better? I'll never forget it. Uh, he told Rocky this, Muhammad Ali. And Rocky says, I'm all for it. Let's go to work. And they turn out to be the best of friends. Muhammad Ali, after the fight, mm -hmm. they respected each other and they became best of friends and they were on their way to travel all over the world to getting together how to make the world better. This is in 1969. And with that, Rocky had left that evening, went home, was flying the next day, two days later, and he got killed in a plane crash. And that was the end of the whole fight career, you know, doing, going around, which they were going to share and try to make the world better. But I kept that knowledge, and that's what I'm trying to do today, help people get involved, what I do, whatever it is, in, in hotels, dining, fine dining, and giving my share how we can make the food better, how we can make a hotel appearance better, how they should work together. And that's what we have to offer. And it's about a team. And I know it's the winning team with Muhammad Ali 
I don't look Spirit. like I was winning there. <laughs> you were just with him. You could tell us about that. You know, Muhammad Ali, when, once Rocky passed on, I became very close with Muhammad Ali. Very dear friend. Every year I support him. And I was just with him two weeks ago in his new museum in Louisville, Kentucky, where we will be going this summer to do the awards also for the Kentucky Derby in Louisville. We give the awards for the Kentucky Derby. But he's got a thing called Parkinson's, and it's very difficult on him at his age. Today, he's 72 years old, and he would have loved to have been here today, along with me. Yeah. But he did give me something, and I want to share it with all of you today. And it came from his heart. Why don't you read it here, Sure, Karen? it says, from the greatest wow, Muhammad Karen. Ali, to the greatest, Farid wow. Sahank, wow. who has epitomized the definition of leadership by his exemplary contributions to the Doge group. i like him to come up right now. He is a real champion. Uh, this is a real champion. A real champ, right here. Mr. Chuka. I would like to thank you on behalf of our group here. Uh, please give our best wishes and our wishes for health and happiness to the champ, okay. Muhammad Ali. He has a very important place in the heart of Turkish people. We grew up watching him, Foreman, Fraser, uh, in black and white TV in Turkey. Uh, hopefully one day we will host him here yes, and we will. my colleagues will also join his presence because he's a real champion and I would like to thank you for thinking for, uh, about me with such a present. I will take this on behalf of my colleagues. Thank you very much. Uh. You know what? As I just said, he is a true champion, this man. He gave me this little hat, too. And on the hat it says, be great and do great things. I don't think he could give it to a better guy. Is there anything that you would like to just impart just about excellence to everybody? Wow. See what I mean? Where do you get a guy like him? <laughs>